Welcome back to another episode of Rosalie's Kitchen. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video, but I've had a persistent curl that's took away from my beautiful vocals, and obviously I had to be back on point. Today, I decided to make some blueberry pancakes, because why not? These bad boys, they are so good. They are so tasty and so easy to make. In a bowl, we're gonna get 200 grams of self-raising flour. We're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder and a lovely little pinch of basil. With a whisk, I made sure I mixed all my raw ingredients together. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna get our wet ingredient. This consists of one egg, and 300 millilitres of milk. You can use any milk, it doesn't matter. Even if you have an intolerance to milk, you can use oat milk, for example. It all works. Obviously, milk is just better. With a whisk, we're gonna incorporate all of our wet ingredients. And once we've got it nice and mixed up, with lots of air in there, we're gonna get our dry ingredients back. In your dry ingredients, you're gonna add your wet ingredients. Never the other way round, because it will get very lumpy. You gotta make sure you've got plenty of wrist action for this. It's what professionals do. Give it a good mix up. Incorporate it all nice. Then you're gonna add a knob of butter. Give that a good mix. Now, you can add more blueberries if you wish. I used 125 grams of fresh blueberries. You can also add frozen if you like. It doesn't matter. Or any fruit to be honest, but I love blueberries. They cook so good. Now, in your favorite hot pan with a little oil, get it nice and hot. And then you're gonna ladle the mixture to make your pancakes. Now your pancakes don't have to be perfectly round. It's still going in your belly. It don't matter. That's my excuse anyway. And with a ladle, the mixture is thick, okay? So just add it in sections. Do not be tempted to add more milk to this mixture. We don't want crepes, we want American style blueberry pancakes, you know what I'm saying? Not that French version. We're not making that today. Once you're happy with that, let them cook. Don't be tempted to flip too soon. Now, when you start to see those bubbles on top of your pancake, it's ready to be flipped over. Obviously, I'm a professional, as you can tell. Yes, I do love to fold them in half. <laughs> Let's try again. And we give it a little flip. Perfect. Now, let them cook again and don't be tempted to move them around the pan. Once you see them blueberries start to bubble, your pancakes, they're ready, mate. Put them in your stack, get them ready, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you wanna make something fun for the kids, you can use a couple of cookie cutters. I've got a little star and a little flower today. Make sure you grease these. It'll be easier to get your mixture out. With a spoon, I added the mixture. Trying to make sure that I get it all nice and even on that pan. Trust me, the kids love this. Not that I've got any kids, I've only got fur babies. But I'm a big kid and I like it. Be careful, that pan is hot. You can give them a little shake and that mixture will go down into the corners. Now, similar, when you start to see slight bubbling, you know your mixture's ready. It will move like this, and you can just flip it. Unlike my star, that was a little bit sloppy. But it don't matter, it's all going in your belly, innit? Anyway, that's perfect for the kids. Now, you will have a little trouble getting them out, but it should be okay if you grease it. Now, look at these beautiful bad boys. They are delicious. You can have whatever you want with them. On the big ones, I'll put some skinny syrup. Because why not? Absolutely delicious. And on the little ones, I'll put lemon and sugar. Us Brits, we love our lemon and sugar on our pancakes. Absolutely lovely. They might not look great, but they taste delicious. I even cut some open for you so you can see what they look like. Absolutely lovely. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. 